Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixed Best TV. David here. Welcome to another q and I'm so happy you guys like this format so much because I enjoy replying your questions. But before we start, let me remind you that if you want to support the channel, we have a store. Hit the store, grab a mug, a t-shirt. Your support is very much appreciated. And if you shop on Amazon, now we have a Mixed Best TV store on Amazon. So at no additional cost, if you do shopping on Amazon, use our store, use our codes, and you can support the channel that way too. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and soon on Patreon for exclusive content. But let's get to the question of today, which is more like a chat, a conversation, an advice that I would like to share. I was thinking what would be the best advice that old me would give younger David uh, starting out with with mixing or producing or music career in general? Or what would be, if I could pinpoint, the biggest or most common mistake that I see uh, inspiring engineers uh, making? And something I learned both from my past as a musician and then as a mixing engineer is don't chase dream jobs. Instead, believe in hard work. What do I mean with that? Um, I mean many times, and I made this mistake myself, we look at music career or artistic careers in general as a dream job. Meaning we are going to have a lot of money, we're going to make a lot of money, and just to be ourselves... And just to express ourselves, uh, we're just going to make art and have fun the whole time while making a ton of money. We're going to get rich and famous. And if you're lucky and you have talent and if you have the right connection, that will definitely happen to somebody. But it's more like winning the lottery. And you shouldn't take exceptions as a general examples like they found that guy on youtube and you know he was famous rich and famous overnight um if that's how it happens it's an exception the meaning behind don't believe in dream works believe in hard work is most times, even when we have careers that are in the music industry, movie industry, uh, arts in general, the truth is to get to the top or even to pay the bills by doing something that you like, there is a lot of work behind it. And... Um, don't spare yourself. Don't go into mixing or mastering or making music as an artist thinking that you're not going to work a lot. You are going to work a lot more than if you had a 9 to 5 job. You will have and you will find yourself working a lot more, especially when you work for yourself. You never stop working. Uh, the truth is that you you always constantly try to improve and try to be better and make more whatever that more it is more content more music more songs better sounds so it never ends it's it's almost addicting especially when you start to see results but my point is don't believe in dream jobs a career in music industry it shouldn't be seen as something easy to achieve, easy to keep, and easy to live into. If you take a look at the biggest artists out there, how many of them experience nervous breakdowns, or they pass out, or they are hospitalized because how much they work? Uh, I can think of Lady Gaga, for example. And she's nuts in, in a good way. I mean, she has such a strong work ethic. But many, uh, many others are the same. And, and I can relate to that myself because I work insane hours 
And sometimes not even because I need to, but because that's my rhythm. I, I'm used, I, I got used to it in, in during, you know, my, my, the beginning of my career when you had to work so much and with such intensity all the time. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's something, that's something, that's a different point of view that maybe some people don't have and they look at jobs in, in, in the arts as a, as a dream job. Uh, look at it as a hard work, one of the hardest, okay? So I hope this helps somehow. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook and soon on Patreon for exclusive content. If you want to support the channel, hit the store, grab a mug, a t-shirt. Your support is very much appreciated. Leave your comments and questions down below. See you next time.